Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to store binary files in database. So binary files like uh, if you have a MS Doc, MS Document, Microsoft Document, Microsoft Excel sheet, PDF, any kind of image, audio, video files. So these are the files is called binary files. So if you want to store this kind of file in database, then how you can store in MySQL database? So first of all, we required a uh, DDL uh, query, right? So this is the DDL query. Table name is store binary file underscore table. So this is a table I'm going to create in the MySQL database. So this table contains few columns like file ID, file name, file size in KB, file extension, as well as file content and most important is the data type of the file content so if you want to save binary kind of data into database then you need to use something is called a blob blob means binary large object and in mysql we have a data type long blob as well you can take this data type as a blob or long blob so long blob size is greater than blob size but this, overall this is a blob itself right so this table i'm going to create in mysql database so here i have a database is called jdbc db here i'm going to paste uh, on mysql workbench and this database is selected you can see this is highlighted mean this is selected uh, select this ddl query and you have a button is called execute selected portion of the script so let's run and table is created right so if you refresh then look at here table is created now table does not contain any data right now once you create the table then ddl creation is done now i have a db util class and responsibility of this class is to return the connection object right so i have a, a factory method or a static method you can say which returns the connection object right and this connection object is, object is getting created in the static block right in a static block just I'm loading the JDBC driver by calling class dot for name here. I'm passing a driver class and we have a get connection method in driver class, which is a static method. And just I'm calling get connection method and I'm passing parameters like database URL, username, password. These are the things I have declared on the top of the, this class. Now, once uh, once you call this method from the client program by using this class dbutil dot get connection, then first of all a static block will be executed right so a static block basically when your class gets loaded into the memory at the time first of all a static blocks gets executed and this connection will be created and same connection is going to return to the client right so it's pretty straightforward now come to the client so uh, i have already written the code how to store binary files into the database and how to download from the database uh, I have coded these things offline. I am going to explain you every piece of the code uh, present in this Eclipse. So here first of all we will explore save binary files in database. So this is the method which I, uh, this is a private method. So I have created in the client program itself right and uh, here you can see I'm, I have written insert code insert into a store binary file uh, underscore table and here I have specified the column name so these are the column name I have specified file name file size in KB file extension as well as file content and I have listed four columns so that's why I have given the four placeholder so so if you look into the index for this placeholder so uh, I mean first we have a column from left if you count then file name comes first so in that case uh, index of file name is 1 index of uh, file size in KB is 2 and so on right so this is a dynamic uh, query I have written and that I'm going to use along with the prepare statement now I have used try with resources so here you can see I have declared many resources like uh, I have declared files dot list uh, which returns the stream of path so here I have used JDK 1.8 so you required a little knowledge on JDK 1.8 as well from java 8 onwards your connection object also extends the extends auto closable interface so that's why you can declare as a uh, try with resources and again prepare statement also uh, extends 
auto close your interface so these are the resources i have declared as a try with resources so you these resources you don't need to close explicitly in the finally block uh, if you use try with resources then end of the program jvm automatically uh, calls the calls the uh, close method of this auto closable interface this close method is getting called by the jvm and resource will be closed automatically that's the beauty of try with resources pretty enough now now here uh, we have a list right so here uh, here I have specified where I have kept my input files right so in the project directory itself I have made a uh, directory is called input files and I am telling paths uh, class as a get method there I am passing the uh, path of my directory that is the project itself so directly I have given the directory name and this uh, directory I am passing to the uh, list method of files so here and in this here uh, in this try with resources uh, I have created the connection by calling get connection method which is available in the dbutil and finally I am using I am making connection of uh, making use of this connection to create the create the prepared statement by passing this dynamic SQL right now we have a list list I am just calling the collect method on it and we have a collector utility class like uh, collections we have a collectors utility class so you can see then that has been added in JDK 1.8 now just I'm calling the two string method on it and this returns me the list of uh, list of uh, path object right and uh, just I, I'm printing a message following files are saved in the database so and just I'm iterating this path list over here and uh, just uh, I'm extracting just I'm trying uh, just printing the name of the file uh, that I'm going to save into the database so from this path you can call two string method two file method which returns you the file object and from file object you can get the file name file length which uh, you will get in the uh, bytes right and bytes I have converted into the KBs by dividing the 1024 so here you'll get length in KB itself now I'm place I am I am setting the value for the first placeholder that is a file name so file name we got over here so that I am setting for index 2 just I am setting a file length in KB which I have calculated over here now index 3 I am just calculating the index of the file so file name we have already and I am calling sub string method of a string and just I am trying to find the last index of dot after that we will have extension right so just I am adding one more and from there we'll extract the index right and finally you need to uh, set the content of the file on the fourth index right so if you look into the file content binary file content so that i'm passing here over here so here i have created the file input string there i'm passing this file object and this gives me the file input string that i'm passing and finally i'm passing the uh, length of the file so if you uh, go to the prepare statement uh, interface then you have a uh, some overloaded this method three methods so you can use any of one so I have used this method set binary stream but you are free to choose any but uh, you will have to see whether your driver manager whatever uh, jars you have added in your class path that supports uh, this method or not so some of the methods is not supported by the uh, some driver but uh, this is uh, I have imported latest jar so that uh, that supports almost all APIs all overloaded get uh, binary stream method so and now I am just iterating and putting uh, all uh, files as uh, just I am adding as a batch and once I come out from the this loop then finally I am executing as a batch, batch so that uh, uh, in one go all files I am going to store into the database and just I am printing this execute batch so if it, this prints one means your batch is uh, executed successfully and um, that is added into the database right if this returns once that means that is not uh, inserted into the database right so let's run this project now database is already set up and just I'm calling this method so if I run it then and uh, before that let me show you I have kept uh, some files uh, in this uh, directory so let me show you so i have a gst.pdf i have one pdf file uh, 
which contains 12 pages so this is the file i'm going to save into the database now i have a one image file jp is jpg file this is the image file now i have a ms doc which contains certain pages a microsoft document and uh, this is microsoft document i want to save into the database and finally i have a uh, ppt i have created so that is also a I want to save into the database so let's run this project and see what happens so see saying that following files are saved in the database and you can see so all these files have been saved into the database if I go over here and if I refresh then see all files have been saved into the database you can see the content of this file file ID file name then file size in KB this is the extension of the file and all file is showing as a blob you cannot see the content of this uh, binary object if you want to see then you need to uh, download from the database and you need to save into the your uh, local uh, file system and local hard disk so now I have another method is called download binary files from database so this will basically download all files from this uh, table and that will so save into the directory so this directory i have already made in the uh, same project itself download files so here i'm going to once i run this project then all files will be downloaded from the database and that will uh, retain in the download uh, files so this is also pretty straightforward so up uh, so here instead of insert query i have written select query i want to select all data so there is no where clause and this is pretty much same as previous uh, method and here i have just prompting a message saying that following files are downloaded from the database and here these are the pretty straightforward just like previous only thing is that here here uh, just I am uh, extracting data from the result set so uh, on upper method we have a get CLOB right uh, sorry uh, when we had learned how to download character oriented data then we had used get clob right but here we have to use get blob and just blob object we are getting and from this blob object i am calling get binary stream which returns us the input stream and here uh, i am using files.copy method that there i am passing input stream and i am just i am telling where i want to download all my files and just i am uh, i am just downloading the files with the same name from which that is present in the database so this is pretty much straightforward so i am going to run this program at this time i have commented this save binary files into database just i am running this and let's see what happens and there is no content if i refresh this project then there is no content in this directory right so let me run now see saying that uh, following files are downloaded from the database so this is the first file information id file name size in kb and extension similarly i have printed information about the all four files and if i refresh this project then see this file is uh, populated with the all files which is available on the database size database so if i go to this location <coughs> then i can show you all files i have downloaded from the database so if i open this pdf then see this pdf is downloaded from the database now i can open this jpg jpg full image so this is getting uploaded now you can see this is also downloaded from the database and finally we have a ppt so that is also downloaded from the database right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so if you like this video then uh, please subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get intimation about the, my new video uploads and thanks for watching this video.